So we're over here um, just taking a stroll by my studio. Um, I've painted a lot of murals over here in the art district and uh, just wanted to give you guys a little tour of you know my world. <laughs> a lot of these walls were white um, before when I got here and uh, I painted this first mural that I want to show you guys. And then after that I kind of started having some friends come and um, paint more murals around here and liven, the, liven it up. So um, I just had an off day, I wasn't working and I came and just started painting this mural. And uh, you know, there was an art walk and I was finishing it during art walk and the owners came up to me and they were like, yo, this, this is amazing, who are you? And, and I got my contact information and it led to some more um, mural opportunities. But um, that's kind of, you know, something I do when, when I'm not working, I'll go and try to put some of my artwork work up so that you know more people can see it, more exposure, and especially in an area like this where it's supposed to be the art district, they needed more art. So I just started, you know, painting walls around here, and um, this is a good example of my style. It's very um, almost like Trapper Keeper '80s um, meets the future. So. Uh, I like to call it retro futurism or graffiti futurism because I like to incorporate a lot of my graffiti uh, colors and techniques into my artwork. Like here you see the main focus is uh, this giant arrow which is in all of graffiti. It's one of the most iconic things uh, about graffiti. They started adding arrows to um, the letters which made it more dynamic and um, this one's kind of wavy, waving and I call it a uh, Hyperwave, and this is my first hyperwave mural I painted, and it kind of started this. And now I'll take you guys around and see more of the murals I have around here. Um, but this was uh, this was the first one. This was Adam where it started. All these pieces say grab. Like here, you can see the G, the R, the A, and the B. This piece is called the Blue Heron's Dream. And uh, this one's very special to me because I got um, hired by the county uh, to do this mural uh, for the, the county arts. And they let me do whatever I wanted to um, as long as it was Floridian and tropical. And that's right up my alley. And with this one, I was able to paint, you know, my spirit animal, which is the blue heron. It's my favorite bird. It's uh, native to Florida. And every time I see it, I have a special connection with it. There's different panels, different colors. So yeah, I had a lot of fun with this piece. I made it very about, you know, things that I like and, and very much my style because uh, I, I thought it was a great opportunity to, uh, you know, shun my, my own style and artwork.